afternoon everyone it's Friday that means I'm here with another video today's should actually be fairly short and sweet but it is a very important topic for anyone who is moving to or has moved to Panama and that topic today is going to be sedulous so if topics like this are important to you I highly recommend that you stop a second click the subscribe button Click the little notification bell, that way every time we post a video, you are going to get notified of it and you won't miss anything. Because normally we post every single Friday, but sometimes there's breaking news and we're here in the middle of the week with things you need to know. So make sure you subscribe and click notify. All right, today I'm coming to you from a different part of our property. Look at that view. Once that one, maybe two tree branches are gone, it's gonna be a nicer view. This is an area where we actually plan to build a little rental casita. We're really excited about that. It's a ways down the road. Uh, probably late 2022 we'll start that. Uh, but we don't have a name for this place yet. We have named all kinds of little places around our property. We have Biriba Flats. We have Pineapple Flats. We have Yukahala. Um, I'm now realizing we're naming things after food. What does that say about us? Um, <laughs> So this is a nice little kind of flat area on a hill up, oh, maybe about two thirds of the way to the top of the property with this gorgeous view in the background of Isla Pastores. So if you can think of a name for our little casita, cabana, whatever bungalow you want to call it, um, and this place, put it below. I would love to hear what you come up with, especially if it doesn't have a food connotation because I just realized we have way too many of those. Okay, all right, let's get on to Sedulous today. So, look what I have in my hand. Ooh, ah, it's a brand new shiny Sedula. So what the heck is a Sedula? Okay, so a Sedula is like a national ID. We don't have anything like that in the United States, really. Maybe kind of a social security number, something that's assigned to everyone in the country um and and is used as like a major form of id except a social security card you can't really use as id because it doesn't have your photo on it but the ace sedula has your photo on it um your name it has your date of birth it has uh where you were born which country so obviously mine says estados unidos de america um your national nationality which i'm not even going to try to pronounce that but basically it's american um or united states -ian, i guess uh, your sex um, blood type, which I, they must be getting from your driver's license information that's in there because I didn't give it to them again. Um, when it was expedited and when it expires. So I will tell you right now that the e cedula um, is good for 15 years. That's pretty awesome, assuming I don't lose it. So why do I have it? What is it for? The first thing I want to say, this e cedula has ab absolutely nothing to do with your residency this is not anything that has to do anything with immigration and i have heard people say that on the boards oh well you're not legal until you have your cedula or um i have my residency my permanent residency is that my cedula no 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 and no this is completely separate this is a national id a cedula is assigned to every single panamanian citizen over the age of 18. However, once you receive permanent residency here in Panama, in about oh, a month, a month and a half or so, I guess the time varies, I've heard different things, um, you get a letter after your permanent residency has been approved. You can't do this with the temporary. But after that comes through, then you get a letter um, stating that you're now qualified and able to apply for your cedula. Now, when we apply for a cedula as permanent residents, not as citizens, we have a little different thing. We have this big E on there. E stands for excelente. No, actually E stands for extranjero, which is basically foreigner. So this is designating us as foreigners versus citizens. But this card does basically the same thing. It's a national ID card. So why do we need this? Well. Well, first of all, let me tell you how I got it. Um, so my permanent residency came through. Uh, 
my letter came through Kramer law linked below as always um, sent that letter to me and at that point I had a choice I could either handle all of the paperwork myself at the tribunal electorate I think is what it's called um, in Panama City or I could hire Kramer to do it for me and frankly when it comes to government things I just want them, them done right I want them done fast and I don't speak well enough English to go in there and try to sort it out myself. So Spanish. I have no interest. Hmm? Spanish. You speak really oh, good I English. Speak, no, I really don't speak well enough English either. But thank you, cameraman Brian, for correcting me. Yeah, my Spanish is pretty cruddy. It's at least not good enough to get me through an entire government whatever it is. So I have no interest in doing it. So I could pay Kramer $200 and they're going to handle the whole mess for me. Sold. Okay, so... Um, they made the appointment for me. You have to go to Panama City the first time. So that was kind of a pain in the butt, but we were going to the United States anyway. So we just kind of uh, arranged it around that. So I told them what day I was going to be there. They made the appointment for me. We had the appointment. It was like first thing in the morning, like 8 a.m. Um, I met the representative from Kramer there and uh, basically went to the line a guy came out um, as soon as they opened because we were there right before they opened a guy comes out he has a list of names mine was numero uno top of the list walk right in with my attorney's representative she takes me to this desk to do some paperwork she takes me over to the cashier to pay for everything and um, and get my and then she takes me to another uh, desk where my picture is taken and that was it. I was in and out of there in 15 minutes. It was the most beautiful thing ever. So worth $200. Thank you, Kramer Law. Okay, so then, um, obviously, I had to come back to focus. So Kramer actually um, put my cedula in an envelope, put it on an Air Panama flight to Bocas, and we went and picked it up at Air Panama at no extra charge, I might say, which was very nice. Okay, so now I have the card. What the heck does it mean? Okay. I'm going to show you a picture of a few things right here. I'm going to show you a picture of my passport. And you see that the first three numbers are 566. I'm going to show you a picture of my driver's license. And you're going to see that the first three numbers are um, 566. I'm going to show you a picture of my permanent residency card. And you're going to see that the first three numbers are 566. Okay. When you look at my Isedula, it's E81. So it's the only form of identification I have that isn't that 566 blah, 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 blah number, which is my passport number. All of those other things are attached to my passport. My driver's license, my permanent residency card, my car registration, my property registration. All of these things are attached to my passport, which is not such a huge problem except when my passport expires and passports are only good for 10 years when my passport expires let's say it expired next year guess what none of those things are good anymore <laughs> okay i have to go back and if i don't have the e-cedula i have to go back and reassign the new passport number to all of those things, to any bills that I'm paying, to my car registration, to my property registration, to whatever it is that I have attached that passport to using that as my primary ID, I have to go back and change it. What a massive pain in the buttocks. And you have to do that every time. And I don't know if like, if you lose your passport, if they send you a passport that has a different number, so you might even have to do that more than once every 10 years. I don't know. Make your life easy. Get this. Okay, so e-cedula. This is a unique identifier that is going to stay with you for your entire stay in Panama. So once you get this linked into your driver's license, linked into your property and car registration and all of those things, you are golden and you don't have to worry about it anymore. That's awesome. What's the other great thing about this? Well, if you have a permanent residency card, you cannot just carry that permanent residency card around with you as an ID. You have to have your passport on you. Now, whether they ask you for that or not, who knows?
but like I could not go to my bank and just hand them my per permanent residency card as an ID. They always wanted to see my passport along with it every time. And when you, if you get pulled over or, or something like that, whatever type of identification you might be using, they're going to want to see your passport. So that means you have to carry your passport with you all the time, which means that you have a greater chance of losing it or damaging it or whatever. Once you get this, bank, hand them this. I want to get on a domestic flight within Panama to fly from here to Panama City or to David or wherever. All I need is this. Don't need a passport. My permanent residency card is not going to get me on. Okay, so this is the preferred form of identification in Panama. You do not have to have it. It is not a requirement. It is 100% optional. It says nothing about your residency status whatsoever. All it does is unlink, once you go through the process, it gives you the ability to unlink all of your Panamanian stuff from your passport. So when that passport number changes, you don't have to go change everything behind it. So I highly, highly recommend that you get it. I have heard people say, oh, you get treated better if you have a cedula. I haven't seen that. I mean, whatever. You know, they're just like, oh, great, it's a cedula. I haven't seen any better treatment when I show a cedula than when I do my passport. It's just basically for my own personal peace of mind and usage. So, take a moment, subscribe below, hit notification, and if you have questions about the cedula or anything else that's related to Panama, be it tourism or living here or moving here, take a moment and join the I Go Panama Facebook group. I link it below. I'm in that group practically every day, answering questions and helping people along with a group of wonderful members in our community that do the same. So you get a great kind of variety of opinions, which is awesome. All right. So that's it for Cedulas. Go get yours and I will see you next Friday.